Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, we're having a great time in the book of Daniel today. Uh, we're in chapter 1, verse 12. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up Daniel chapter 1, verse 12. Um, just want to encourage you, if these are a blessing to you, these devotions, I would encourage you to pass them on to somebody that you know needs them. And um, great time to do it since we're just starting the book of Daniel. Today we're in verse 12. The Bible says this, test your servants for 10 days. Let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance and the appearance of the youths who eat the king's food be observed by you and deal with your servants according to what you see. So, you know, the chief eunuch is approached by Daniel. Daniel's like, hey, listen, I've resolved in my heart. I can't defile myself. I need a different diet. I need to eat something different because all that stuff over there, even though everyone's grubbing down, like my Bible says, I can't do that. Like that's not pleasing to God. And I'm not going to jeopardize my relationship with God so I can have a meal. And I'm willing to put myself at risk to do that. So he says to um, the chief eunuch, give us an, an alternative diet so that we can honor our God. And the response is, uh, that's problematic because my life is on the line too. I'm responsible for all of you. And the expectation that's been placed on me and my job description is that as I oversee these brilliant, uh, well-equipped, uh, very smart young people, that they're going to be healthy, that they're going to be ready to serve the Babylonian government. If, and if that doesn't happen, it might be my life. And so Daniel's response is, test us in this thing. Test us in this thing. Give us vegetables and water, and then you make the you, you judge yourself based upon the other youth that are eating all that junk over there, and we who've committed ourselves to a kosher diet, and, and then you can make the determination. I and mean, this is bold, right? I just remember that Daniel and these um, three young boys are, you know, they're probably in their early teens, you know, mid-teens. They're, they're, definitely, they're definitely young. And um, it was a bold move to make, you know, a person that was so set on the reality that as he was obedient to God, that God would come through. Like, make no mistake about it, that's what this is about. Um, this is not about a, a diet fad. This is not about how you can lose some weight. Um, this is not about following some biblical recipe to a physically fit life. And, you know, leave it to Christians to miss the point of a Bible story. And I have so many friends that are like, hey, I'm doing the Daniel fast, and like, this is what we learned from the scripture. And don't get me wrong, right? Eat your vegetables, drink your water. I'm all down for that. But don't like, don't minimize the power of what's happening here because God would rather you walk by faith and trust him to the place where you put yourself and your life at risk than losing a couple pounds. Like that, it just astounds me, all right? But this is, this is what really is on the line for Daniel. He is such a solid, strong, young man of faith that he knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that as he is obedient to God, that God is going to be faithful to come through for him. Experiences like that do not come without risk. It was a risk for Peter to get out of the boat and to walk on water. He made the request, the response was given, but still he put his life at risk. And that miracle that happened there, that miracle happened because he was willing to take a step. The disciples were willing to carry the baskets of fish and bread as they distributed them among the people, but they had to take a step. They had to be a part of that process. They had to put themselves on the line. And there's a lot at risk here for Daniel. I'm sure there were other young people that were looking at Daniel like, really, you are probably the dumbest person that we have ever met in our entire life. Like, what are you thinking, fool? This food is amazing, just say yes. 
and to put yourself in a place where, where, you know, not only might you not be accepted into the program, but this might cost you dearly, made no sense to them, I'm sure. But it makes sense for us who, who've learned through our master to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. And when you commit yourself to do that and you put yourself out there, I just want to tell you that even though you may feel out there, there's someone whose hand is under you and he will hold you up and show himself strong on your behalf. Let's pray. Father, thank you, God, for all those today that are taking great steps of faith. I pray, God, that you would show yourself strong. God, that you would come through for them. That as, in a way, from the world's perspective, you're put to the test, that you would reveal that you are the one and only Lord God Almighty. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.